Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are back again and you guys might remember that previously I asked you to give me some suggestions for unlock methods for a lot of the modded characters and you guys have done a very very good job. I think the only one we don't have an unlock method for is Moses but that one is a character I don't currently have a thumbnail for anyway so hopefully I can get a thumbnail for him soon and we'll come up with another unlock method but I'm going to go through them all now. Um, I've, br I've taken suggestions from different ones of you. Some people got more of their suggestions, other people didn't so I kind of took it from all the different comments Um I did see that um, a lot of you one second I did see that a lot of you suggested some things that would be very very difficult to do early on so those ones I didn't use so much so something that I saw a few of you suggest was for example for my stemma get like eight broken hearts that would be incredibly difficult and take an extremely long time because I'd have to unlock magic skin to do that I think. Um, there's a few items that give broken hearts but it would be very very difficult to do so those ones I didn't go for but anyways let's kind of go through. So to start we've got deleted which is simple it's just to enter an I am error room. A few people suggested uh, going for completing the delete this challenge but I think that might also take quite a while so I've gone with entering an I am error room um, for Arachna, we have, uh, get sp three spider-themed items at once. For Zack, we have reach ten luck without perfection. Uh, for Golem, we have gulp five trinkets, which is probably going to be one of the hardest ones, to be honest. Um, for Fiend, we have have all black hearts at once. Uh, for the Punished, we have, uh, kill Mum's heart without firing a tear. Um, for Andromeda, we have Unlocking Planetariums. Um, for Mastema, this is, like I said, one that was difficult. This one is taking six Devil Deals in a single run. Um, sort of a bit like Azazel, but a lot harder. Um, for Mammon, we've got fully paying out an arcade, essentially playing every single machine um, until it blows up. So that one's also going to be potentially pretty difficult. As Icarus, um, lose flight after gaining it, so we'd have to basically get flight and then re-roll our run or something similar. Um, and then for um, Samuel, 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 for Samuel, defeat the lamb while using death's touch. Um, so these are going to be some pretty difficult ones for us to get, but I'm, I'm liking the idea of having unlock methods surrounding these guys. I think that's fun. Um, and I think we're going to go for a run as Lilith here. Just a regular old run as Lilith. Um, pretty fun character. We do have, of course, the mod that gives her child leash and the ability to gain synergies, which is really nice. Um, very, very happy about that. We also have a tinted rock right off the bat here. Oh, hello. Kind of interesting that they go back to where you were stood. They, they like, default back to where you were stood rather than trying to t chase you. I always thought they chased you. Hey, look. Oh, I've got two, like, different looking ones. That's kind of interesting. One's got horns and one doesn't. But yeah, um, this is a character that I used to not really like so much, but with um, the addition of starting with Child Leash and the ability for our um, familiars to gain our item effects and synergies, this character becomes a lot more fun. Um, but yeah, as for the question of the day today, um, oh my god, do my mini? I think my mini Isaacs fire my tier damage. Holy damn, that's a very good... I did not realise that was a thing, but I think my mini Isaacs fire my tier damage, which makes them exceedingly good. Um, yeah, they do. <laughs> that was a good shot, sir. That was a good shot. Um, for the question of the day... Hmm. What's something that you really hate that people do around you often? That's always a good one. For me, at the moment, it's fucking every motherfucker and their dad going to the gym. Stop going, like, people fucking get their New Year's resolution on and go to the gym. And I'm like, that's cool. Better yourself. But, like, not my gym. I like the fact that there's not not many people in my gym. Go away. <laughs> it's been annoying me recently, but... Hey, ho, that's just me being antisocial and not being, not liking being around people. Um, we do have some tinted rocks here, but we unfortunately don't have any bombs. I will take that. Unfortunately, it was a look down. Not exactly what we'd want there. Uh, sorry, beggar. You're going down. Luck affected chance to fire a tier that deals uh, extra damage with aggressive herming. Very good, but honestly, the child leash is too, too good. We've got to keep it. We've got to keep it. Um, 
Looks like unless we get matchstick, there isn't any way that we're blowing up these uh, these tinted rocks here, which is a real shame because we already lost some health and I'd like to regain it a little bit, but so far, not so good. We do have pin. By the way, the reworked foes and enemies mod got a pretty big update today, um, adding some reworks to the blue baby uh, boss fight, as well as a few other bosses here and there. Got some new stuff, so look out for some new things going on with some enemies and um, some bosses. Unfortunately... Did not get the bombs that we wanted. Let's just uh, boogie on down to the next floor. We are going for boss rush kills here. And of course, mum's heart kills. These runs are going to tend to be a little bit shorter. But Lilith, I don't know. Lilith, I wouldn't particularly call Lilith a fast character. Or oh, that enemy was like so hyped up to jump on that poop there. And I was like, mmm. You had to get your little stinger in there, didn't you? I am not a big fan of this room right now. Oh my god. Especially with the double beater. Goddamn, those little dudes proper remind me of the, um, the fucking annoying enemies from Hollow Knight. Anyone that's played Hollow Knight knows exactly which enemy I'm talking about. I cannot remember their name at all. They're like little flies that fire, like, dual shots, and oh my god, are they annoying. Honestly, I'm just gonna let these things hatch. I'll, I'll try and kill this one, but, yeah, they, they, they just hatch into regular old enemies. They're really not that bad. Of course, the Bernie does present a bit of problems, but... This guy should be fine. Sadly, nothing that can bomb uh, this Tinted Rock. Once again, we're uh, leaving Tinted Rocks behind. It's a little bit annoying when we find this many of them. I'm going to try to make sure that I use... Um... Oh, oh, oh my god. Try to make sure that I use Incubus uh, a good amount. Uh, sorry, not Incubus. Um, the Box of Friends. Because uh, I tend to... I tend to have too good to use syndrome with Box of Friends, where I basically only use it on the um, the actual boss itself, and it's just stupid because it's so easy to get charges for it, especially when you know there's so many rooms left. Okay. Hopefully we get some good item rooms here, but yeah. So these, I'm gonna have these unlock methods up on the side of my screen to see if we can achieve any of them during regular runs. Um, I think the ones that are most achievable just in a regular run is um, the golem one gulping five trinkets. That's that is potentially possible. There's a few different methods for us to gulp things. Um, Zach reaching ten luck, fiend getting all black hearts, punished killing uh, mum's heart without firing. Um, Mastema, and uh, yeah, that, that, that's probably the main ones. Oh yeah, and Arachna as well. They're probably the main ones that we can achieve during a regular sort of play session. Okay. Good, good. Oh, hello there. Oh god. That was close. Let's take out this little dude first. Yeah, that's not so bad. Item room, what do you hold for me? Ah, balls. An active item. But it did give me a bomb, though. Not bad. And it is a book, so not bad in that regard either. But that is a little annoying. Of course, we are still going to try and do boss rush, especially with this character. Boss rush is a piece of piss. But I don't want to not explore. I want to make sure I explore. And also, I just need extra charges now for my, uh, for my boss fight, so... It's worth going about, my dear. I'll open this up and see what we get. Unfortunate. Uh, we did get a crawl space, which is pretty nice, but the uh, the key situation, not so good for us. Am I an idiot? No, I'm not good. I thought I was a really big idiot then. I thought I'd just killed the enemy that I needed to bounce up and get that item. Oh, adjustment. This gives us two keys. Awesome. Right, uh, let's open up this bad boy. Uh, turns all... Turns everything into bombs. We're fine for that. We'll open up that. Oh my god, perfect. We get it all. We get it all. Oh, and we got enough for our shop now as well. Very beautiful. We cannot enter our shop quite yet unless we get another key here, though, which is a little bit of a shame. But next floor, we can progress on to that. Well, so far, I have to say I've been thoroughly enjoying the new save file. It's such a refreshing take on the game. Having actual goals to go for, it makes a world of difference. It really does. Um, before, we've been we've been pretty aimless, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure secret room's below there. Uh, right, grab that. We've been pretty aimless, really. We've not really been um, going... Oh, no, secret room isn't there. I thought it was right here, but it's clearly not. Um, it's probably... Where the hell is it? 
Ah, well, I'm not going to bother dillying around on this floor because I'd, I'd like to potentially make a boss rush if we can. Hello, bee friend. But yeah, we do have a bigger tier size now, but that's just because of Pisces. We don't actually have any more damage. And we do have a nice bit more fire rate, which is really lovely. Hopefully we can get some tier effect here that work nicely with um, with our Lilith Synergy mod that we got going on. Umbao, you are dead, Mr. B. We get the Avengers emblem for some flat damage up. I like that. We'll check in here um, and... We need to go deeper is such a fantastic item for us to grab. Because it, it lets us get further, even if we don't get a devil deal. But I don't think it's the right play for us right now. I will play one of these guys and see if we get anything. The noise we're making is pretty horrible here. Um, nah, unfortunately not. We can grab that now and head on down. But yeah, it's just having that sense of purpose and that goal, is is it's, it makes a big difference. It feels like I'm not just mindlessly playing the game anymore, which I have been for a while, which, uh, albeit, I do still enjoy. I don't not enjoy mindlessly playing the game, but it is a lot better when you're actually um, building towards something. Oh, hello. <laughs> Child Leash 2 Electric Boogaloo. I wonder if they stack. I wonder if having two of them keeps the uh, familiars even closer. I do like the trade-off with this mod where you get the Child Leash, yes. But at the same time, it's not uh, gulped automatically. It doesn't start gulped. So you do have to make a choice whether you want to keep the child leash um, and not have to deal with your familiars being further away. Or if you want to take a different trinket that you find that might be better. So it is still a, it is still a good choice. Go in here first. We do get the pill crusher there. Unfortunately, not really what I'm looking for. I bought that key not knowing it was a key right there. Foolish of me. I know, I know. Foolish of me. But yeah, it'd be nice to know um, how your guys' day is going. How's everyone feeling? Watch the shtick. What's the shtick, everybody? Yeah, so far, I've had a pretty good day today. Wednesdays, um, which it is today, is always a pretty relaxed day for me because normally work's a little more chill um, and I go and meet my friend for lunch uh, across the road at Nando's. Very, very nice. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, ooh, very, very good. And I also think this is worth uh, checking out as well. I thought maybe the money isn't as valuable as having a ton of bombs. Also, check this out, maybe? Damn it. Getting very, very uh, unlucky with my secret room findings at the moment. Whoa, that guy is... Moving at the speed of light, and we get a half soul heart there already. Yeah, and initially I was going to make the fiend unlock soul hearts or black hearts, but I think that's actually too easy. I think getting twelve soul hearts comes very, very easily. I can't really walk right into that guy. Um, but getting twelve black hearts specifically is quite a bit harder. Um, nah, I'm okay, thank you. And then we get our boss fight. Got to be careful of the creep that guy drops. Ow. I say that and then immediately walk directly over said creep. And we got... Oh, bugger. I forgot how hard this guy is. We're probably going to get hit quite a bit here. We have lost a significant amount of health. That right, wasn't too bad. We got a soul hat and a damage up for it as well. I'm speeding along at the minute. I'm trying to make a uh, boss rush if possible because... Honestly, Bosch Rush is this character, as everyone already knows. It's just an easy ride. It's just an easy victory, because you can just summon so many familiars. It's kind of crazy, and I, it's just really enjoyable. Summoning that, like, gigantic wall. You will not buff every other... Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't buff them. Don't you dare. Okay, we got him. Oh, when he buffs the other enemies, they... It really does make a difference. They get so much more health. Try my hardest to focus on these guys here so they don't spawn a ton of enemies for us to fight. The Mr. Boom fellas are not too bad. More keys, more keys. 
But yeah, um, we, we just kind of went and met up for lunch and we've been uh, chatting a lot about Breaking Bad at the minute because uh, he's just finished um, Better Call Saul and then he rewatched Breaking Bad recently, so we've been talking a ton about that. Now that, that is a show that... I, I, I could talk about Breaking Bad's universe for hours, but honestly, especially Better Call Saul. I can't believe they, they made a spin-off. Oh my god, that was so lucky. They made a spin-off. And I genuinely think it's better than the original Breaking Bad. It's slower, but I, I, I genuinely think it's better. The character development is just so much more rich and... Oh, it's, it's so good. Um, Stitches. Game, can you absolutely fuck off with all of the active items you're giving me right now? This is actually offensive. We have a four room here. Rerolls all pedestals. Uh, I mean, it's actually pretty good for us right now. I should reroll... Stitches into something else. Ah! At least it's another book, but come on, game. Stop. I have a mod that reduces the amount of active items I get as well, so this is unprecedented. Oh my god, this this item that gives you the soul hearts is, is so strong. A, a tier that does more damage than your default um, tiers do. And if it kills, it generates a, a half soul heart. So, so good. Fantastic item. Unfortunately, it is random when you fire it, so you don't you can't exactly plan and predict around it. But it's gonna happen probably two or three times per floor. Oh my god, I got a really bad itch. It's okay, I've solved it. I've solved it by itching it. This is a interesting room here. Ah, I actually got hit there as well. Bugger. I'll go for this, why not? Oh, balls. I didn't see that there. The reflect a reflected item. It caught me off guard. I do want to try and explore a little bit more. Really? Oh, hey, lob the That's one of the new things. Those guys that lob out the dips now actually lob them towards you in an arc, whereas before it just used to spawn them. But yeah, all this extra soul heart health we're getting is pretty important considering the amount that I'm uh, getting hit right now. I am losing a significant amount of health to some bullshit. And by bullshit, I mean... Me getting hit due to bad damage because I'm bad at the game. One day I'll be good at this game again, I promise. We got the hallway greed fight. You shouldn't be too bad. Oh, you spawned some bomb coins in and you fired some explosives yourself. I love this version of greed, he's so cool looking. Good amount of extra money there, lovely. We are on the caves too, okay. Um, Again, another active, lovely. Unfortunately, we got a machine jam, which is actually surprisingly the first donation machine jam that we've had so far, which is pretty lucky in general. But yeah, a little bit of a shame. I haven't really been looking for secret rooms when I have this much uh, money. I really should be. Oh my god. Get hit more, why don't you, fool? Get hit more, why don't you? Like, let's check here at least. Get a rotten heart in this bitch. I'll bomb you as well, why not? Two bombs back. Not a bad deal. Apparently this guy has a new attack or something. A new phase. Maybe. Oh no, maybe it was... Maybe it was uh, Terra Terma, not Fistula. I think it was Terra Terma, actually. I always get those two confused. The names are similar. They're not similar, really. Um, plus two luck and spawn a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are good. You. It'll give us an item after we find another two. Once you've used one, though, it does increase how common they are. So we will get one coming up soon. Tell you something else I've been enjoying a lot recently. As I told you guys, um, I've been playing uh, Elden Ring on my second channel. And honestly, another episode's going to go up of that very shortly, actually. Uh, probably by the time you're watching this, there'll be a second episode up. I have been absolutely loving that game. Elden Ring is just... It's, it's just a fantastic game. For anyone that hasn't played it, even someone that hasn't touched a Souls like before, go try it out, because I, I hadn't touched a Souls like before either, and honestly, the game... Like, it definitely has a wall where you've, you've got to kind of, like, get past it, and you've got to kind of get over... Oh, God. you kind of got to get over... Um, the difficulty at the start and kind of get past a bit of a brick wall. But once you do, oh, it's a fantastic game. It really is. I mean, there's a, there's a reason it's now like the highest awarded game of all time. 
It's got like 326 awards or something crazy like that. Game of the Year awards, that is. Um, it's it's actually obscene how um, how popular it is and just how valid the popularity of it is too. Like the popularity of it is not not at all undeserved. It is truly a masterpiece of a game. And I'm looking forward as well, like, after playing it, going back and playing some of the other uh, Souls games. Because, like I said, I haven't played any of them. Uh, we get the abandoned box, which is actually pretty good. We'll just use it here and we get... Oh. I was really hoping we'd get a familiar that could shoot. So we could... Um, so that we could actually have something else shooting with us and something else to duplicate. I mean, the Peeper's Eye will duplicate. And we do get a little bit of extra damage out of it. Because our, our other eye will deal 30% extra damage. But not exactly what I was hoping for, really. Again, let's just quickly check these. Oh, damn it. Oh, bugger. I shot the wrong enemy as well. I shot the spook boy. Yeah, we are losing health pretty rapidly, but honestly, I think we're going to be gaining it so so quickly back, so it's fine. Ooh, oh, it's a little bit of a shame that I used the um, the abandoned buddy thing now, because I could have spawned it in the secret room and re-rolled it into something pretty awesome. Because you got to remember that, like, a lot of the secret room pool items that are normally great aren't currently there right now, because we haven't unlocked them, but there's still some modded ones that are really, really good and stuff. But, like... We ain't going to be getting Arky. We ain't going to be getting Sausage. We ain't going to be getting Rock Bottom. We ain't going to be getting Death Certificate. There's a lot of them that aren't currently there. We do got to remember that. Unfortunately, this floor is, uh, has gone exceedingly slowly uh, because we haven't been able to find our item room very quickly at all. I really hate this room. I'm just going to bomb this and uh, take it out the regular way. I say regular way, but the, the easier way, should I say. Good. Come on, item room. Where are you? This is taking the piss now a little bit, isn't it? Oh my god. For god's sake. I don't know if we're going to make boss rush at this point, because this is just taking forever. Finally. Is this an XL floor? It's not even an XL floor. What the hell's going on? Whirling Leech is actually decent. I'm not too displeased to have that. I'm not clearing out the rest of these rooms. We need to we need to book it. We've got a few minutes to uh, kill the boss and cl clear out the entirety of the next floor. And honestly, that's a little bit of a push in my opinion, so we shall see. We're going to have just under a minute and a half on the next floor, I think. Which is not a lot, depending on if it's this size. Luckily, not a too hard boss. We do get the double peepers, but I don't think they're going to be super useful, to be honest. Quickly check this. Um, unfortunately, nothing here we want. Another bloody active... I guess I'll pick that up, but I... Range. Right, range. down we go. I'll take the range ups. If there's ever a duplicate pill, I always take it, because if, if it's a good one, then you could get a lot out of it. But yeah, we've got a minute and a half here. I'm honestly not going to care about taking damage too much, as long as I don't take an extraordinary amount. I'm hoping we see the item room on the way, but even if we don't, I think we just got to book it. But like situations like this, I'm just not really giving a shit about getting hit. So there, there's that item room. Using a bomb there definitely helps out. Two soul hearts out of that guy for some reason. Um, little mix, uh, minx even. Don't know how good that is for uh, duplicating, but we'll take it. Cartridge we don't care about, and we have found the boss. Okay. That was lucky. We still got to beat the boss in under a minute here. Okay. 
Because we've got to beat the boss under a minute, I'm going to duplicate. Oh, I think I got an Incubus uh, proc here. I think, uh, sorry, a, a Cambium Conception proc and got another Incubus, which is incredibly good. Got the Caffeine pill, lovely. Yeah, we, we've, we've got two as of base, and then... Stay straight familiar. I wonder if he'll duplicate. If he does, that's going to be pretty good. Oh, there's some spikes in the room too. That's always nice because um, bosses can kill themselves on those pretty easily. I don't really remember what the Minx little fella does, I'll be honest. But I can't tell if my stationary garden has duplicated because if they had to duplicate into the exact same location, but it's, it's pretty hard to tell. But yeah, they like rage enemies, and I, I don't really know what that does. I, I should just read the description of the item at some point, shouldn't I? That would probably be the best way to do it, but... Okay, we're killing stuff pretty fast, though. That's good. Come on, spikes. Kill some enemies for me. Yeah, we can do that and, like, it latches onto the enemy and rages them. I'm not sure if that means they, like, fight other uh, close-by enemies, or if they deal less damage, or if they deal more damage, or if they're more aggressive. I really don't know. I'm sure it's something positive. I'm sure it's not that they deal more damage. That would be crazy, but... Ow. Can you bloody get out from behind there, please? Oh, ho, ho, ho. You just died because you spawned on the spikes, didn't you? It's pretty funny. Yeah, and then with, uh, with the fact that we have the leash, the leash makes this situation a lot better. I always forget about Cambion Conception being such a good way to, uh, to get additional familiars. I never really pay attention to Cambion Conception that much. It's so good. Oh my god, there's so many minxes. Is there even a need to have this many minxes? Body in a box! Huzzah! Good stuff. What's left? Where are you exactly, boss? Oh, here you are. <laughs> Just look at them all go. They feast. You're a big pain in the ass, but you're going down pretty quick too, I think. There you go. Just all of them absorbed into... It, it seemed to do a ton of damage there. But let's let's just see. Right, ow. If, if all of you go and dive into that... It, doesn't, it didn't do much damage there, but I think it means that the enemy takes more damage or something. Also, by the way, I'm getting pills because uh, I have a mod that... Um, buffs Mum's coin purse to make it so you have a chance on damage to drop a pill. That's why, if you're wondering why the hell there's pills everywhere. Go away, you. I think it is like an increased amount of damage taken. Because I do it and then the enemy just dies. But they also seem to live a little longer when they have really low HP too. Confusing me. Go up in. <laughs> Dive directly into all those spikes. Uh, also, I, I kind of didn't really think about the fact that there's just like loads of peepers eyes just all over the place. That's probably doing a, quite a good amount of damage to be honest too. More than you'd expect. Hello, pile. Got him. We have dropped an alarming amount of pills on the floor here as well. Might be worth taking some of them. Oh, Terra. Oh, yep, yeah, there's Terra Terma's new attack. You see that there? There's like a little mouth thing in the middle. Immaculate Conception, lovely. Come out of this with quite a lot of HP too. 
And we do indeed get Acid Baby as well. We don't particularly think it's that good, but we'll take him. Balls of Steel. I think I'll keep the other Balls of Steel on me. A range down. Yeah, let's just keep that other Balls of Steel on us. Oop, walked directly into the spikes there. Let's just use it, actually. <laughs> now that I've done that. One makes you small again. Okay. We are on a roll now. On a roll. Curse of the Maze is kind of annoying here. But, yeah. This is going to be pretty good. I think, honestly, yeah. Acid Baby might not be too bad, considering we have an opportunity to gain more pills than normal. We're going to be getting lots and lots of soul hearts here, too. I love the fact that we got an extra Incubus. We unfortunately didn't get any tier effects that really complement the Synergy mod, but still. It ain't too bad. By the way, one thing just to note, um, I'm fairly sure that, um, I'm fairly sure that the mods that I have, uh, one of them that I was sort of part of making and another one that was inspired by the mod that I make that adds uh, additional item pools to like stone chests, uh, haunted chest, all that sort of stuff. I'm fairly sure those items can drop items that haven't been unlocked yet. So, like, because it's got, like, death certificate in the haunted chest pool, for example, if I didn't have uh, death certificate unlocked, the haunted chest, I believe, can still drop it. So, yeah, kind of apologies about that, but that's just kind of the way it goes. I'm hoping on this floor, we can maybe get a ton of soul hearts on the floor, and it'd have to be quite, quite the ton. If we get a lot of soul hearts on the floor here, then we can maybe play that sacrifice room. It'd have to be significantly more than we currently have. Thank you for stoning everything. I I'm pretty sure it is duplicating my Gorgon, you know, because that, that was two enemies stoned at once there, and that shouldn't be plausible. Yeah, this rage thing is keeping the enemy alive. But, wait a minute. That's letting us generate extra soul hearts. Okay, we can do it. We can play the sack room. We found a little bit of a bug here. Basically, if an enemy is minxed or whatever, they um, can't die. So as long as we hold fire and don't let go, it will keep staying dead and it will generate a bunch of soul hearts. Um, and then we can go and use those to play the sack room. So we are going to go and do exactly that. We just gotta generate enough here. This is technically a bug, but I'm gonna abuse the hell out of it regardless. <laughs> we need quite a lot more than this, though. We need, like, about double the amount we have right now, I think. Ah, maybe not double, but... I'd like to get a good bit more. Just because then we can fully play the sack room, get to Mega Satan and take health with us sort of thing. Come on. Where's my golden rings? Not exactly golden, but where are they? Oh, come on. Yeah, there you go. Just a few more. Just a few more. Sometimes we get loads of the rings, and other times we get none. One more. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. We have generated a bunch of hearts. Um, this is Utero 1. We're not going to get a Mum's Heart kill this run, unfortunately. Which I didn't really think about, but that's okay. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. We're not going to be able to kill Mum's Heart this run. That's fine, though. It's fine. Come on, you. Where are you? Don't play us like that. Right, let's go do the boss fight first, and we'll come back and do everything else. But that is a good little uh, interaction there, with Minx and the uh, the Silver Flesh item. 
and to work pretty damn good together to create an infinite source of health. Pretty niche interaction. Oh, I'll tell, tell you what. This is this is needlessly... Um, I, don't, I don't really have to say this, but I feel like I want to. One thing, another thing that I was talking about annoying me earlier... Do you know how obviously some words um, in, in so, some English words in uh, in America are said differently, like aluminium and aluminium. One of them that fucks me off something broil, and I don't know why. It's niche. Why do they say niche? Why? It's so dumb. Just say niche. It's a niche. It's not niche. It's dumb. Say it right. <laughs> Noise the hell out of me. Okay, so we get to see this guy's new attack, actually. So now that he splits, look, you can see there's like a little segment in the middle there. It's got little teeth. I'm sure on a run that's less powerful than this, it'd be more visible. Um, lovely. Got a lot of golden hearts there, so we should get a lot of money out of this. Not that we need it, but there you go. Right. What the hell? Oh, we got Kess the Maze. That confused me. Oh, my soul hearts are going to move the fuck around, aren't they? Because the curse of the maze. That's going to be really annoying. Right. Back this way. Back this way. Or a golden chest out of that. That had nothing in it again. I keep forgetting those golden chests just error out right now. Angel deal. Um, I think I'm going to go for the butterfly here. I do want to try killing one of these guys and just... Okay, we still can't bomb them. Okay. Okay. Let's go and pick up some health real quick. God damn, this room's so laggy. Up to full. I don't want to use any extra pills here because it's telepills. I'll cry. Although it wouldn't lock deleted if we went to an error room, so. Yeah, I want to see if fighting this angel actually gives us a key piece here. I don't think it will. It does. Interesting. Okay. I did not expect that it would, but very happy that it does. Okay, this could be our first potential Mega Satan slash land kill here. That's key unlocked. Awesome. The filigree feather unlocked as well. Awesome. Guess I'll take that. And we're straight there. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, wait. The Mega Satan door isn't even there. Heck. I thought the Mega Satan door would at least be there. That's a little bit of a shame, but hey ho. Um. Do I want to take this book for Bookworm? Maybe. Yes, I'll take it for Bookworm. Ow, what the fuck hit me then? I got hit like straight away and I have absolutely zero idea what hit me. We got a burn heart there somehow. Lovely. Gotta remember that when we need health, we can just generate more.
Don't gotta worry about it too much. Hey, our second puzzle piece. You will protect. Some extra shared enemies in here. Ah! What the hell hit me then? I'm so confused. Hello, shop. Intriguing. Emoji glasses, no thank you for this run. Cancer is pretty awesome, I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, we have two planetarium items as well. Damn it. See if we can get a third somehow. We could unlock Andromeda right here on this run if we get really lucky. We'd have to get really lucky though. Come on, we've got one luck. We can get a few chests here. Just one grey chest that gives us a, a, a consolation item. Or even magic eight ball would do. Even magic eight ball would do. Mysterious egg has been unlocked as well. Lovely. Not quite sure why, but thank you. I think I guess it have so many charmed enemies at once. As our last puzzle piece, but oh my goodness, what happened to the soul hearts here? What the fuck was that? I'm not going to complain. Damn it, not a single chest yet. I know it's so unlikely we'll even get one of the items we want, but I'm just like so hopeful right now. So hopeful. Oh my god. Firing your little fellas off. Oh, he's just stuck in the air now. What the hell? Ah, just one chest and I'd be happy. Just one. What is going on with all the soul hearts all of a sudden? I think it's the invisible, uh, invincible enemies. Monsters may drop a spinning penny proportional to max health. Uh, the spinning coin can be picked up but explodes for three seconds. Eh. I'm surprised that's unlocked already, actually. That shouldn't be unlocked already, should it? Oh, uh, I think I know what's going on now. Oh, we got some little brimstone action here. I think I know what's going on. Um, When I'm hitting my charmed enemies with the shots, it's spawning soul hearts. I need to check that that's that's factually correct. I don't have any more right now. Still no chest. Sadly, popping these and destroying them no longer uh, gives you an item. Back in the day, it used to. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, it does. K hitting these guys with one of these shots spawns a soul heart. Look at that. You can just infinitely generate soul hearts. This item's a bit broken. Still no chest. Big sad, big sad. Eternal heart there as well. Lovely. Why not? I've got to clear out that last remaining room just in case. Just wouldn't feel right otherwise. Holy shit, that's all the creep. Damn it, not a single chest this entire place. Deeply saddened. But we get to fight the lamb here. Get some backstabber on him too. We're getting some herming on our little brims. I think that's from uh, the butterfly item. I'm not 100% sure though. Oh god. It's Herman coming in, but I'm not that worried. I don't know if we can get Delirium here. I don't think we can get Delirium's portal. But if we do, I'll I'll take it. I don't think we can. No, thank you. Yeah, unfortunately not. But 
We did get our first lamb kill, which is pretty awesome. Sadly, we didn't. We wasn't holding Death's Touch at the time, but still, pretty cool. Uh, sadly, no Mega Satan as well, but we unlocked Dad's Key and a few other good things here, so very much like that. We get the Succubus unlocked. We got the gate. There you go. That's actually really good. Now we can do Delirium early. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.